Hello everyone, it's Anita. It's been a while. My last video was my first week of grad school vlog. I feel like it's quite telling that that was my last video. You know, like you can tell how stressed I was in the last couple of months. I still am to be honest so um yeah i'm so sorry that i haven't been uh uploading anything you can follow me on instagram like i post stuff on there sometimes like also not super active but definitely more active than on youtube so yeah i'm so sorry about that it just it has been a lot there are a couple of questions I got slash just things I want to talk about in this video um, just to give you like an update before I start posting more regularly uh, because some people might be well asking those questions maybe you don't care so I'm um, sorry so what happened was I started grad school I am still working I'm still doing uh, my internship I'm actually finishing my internship this week um, it's, a, it's the end of March, by the way. It has been quite stressful to balance work and a uh, university. Long story short, I almost had a burnout. <laughs> so it's not funny. And I don't know, maybe I'm falsely diagnosing myself. Because um, I did not want to let it go that far. So like, yeah, but I was not feeling well. I was super stressed at one point. I was just like, my hands were shaking. And I think I looked, I don't know how I looked, like my boss even said I did not look happy. I was like, that's not what I want to hear. My boyfriend was also concerned, um, like I seemed not my, like myself. I was so stressed. And that's when I decided to drop one class. It was um, the seminar, or it was a seminar. It doesn't matter, it was a statistics class. Yeah, it was too much for me. Like I want to learn. But at the same time, like the way this class was set up, like there were exercises we had to do, which I was fine with. Um, but then like the exam, just from the theory we learned each week, it just uh, seemed quite daunting for me to have having to like learn these formulas and stuff. Um, something that's something I will never use. Like if you. If I use the statistics program, that's fine. Obviously, you should know like the theoretical background of whatever you're doing. But um, yeah, I don't need to do that in this format. I will not need that deep understanding of what I'm typing in a statistics program. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't need to know how you get to this formula. Already stressed out, out about the exam. I was like, I don't know how I will do this and uh, yeah anyway so I decided to drop this class I just think if I need something I will probably be able to ask a professor or something for help so that was um, a bit of a relief but all in all uh, quite yeah I was quite stressed out and it's not really a difference between undergrad and grad school to be honest I'm less stressed right now just because I um, the chances of me failing my degree are quite low, whereas in undergrad there are more obstacles. Uh, so they, I'm not saying they want you to fail, but um, it's set up in a way with requirements and stuff like that, that you could fail. Whereas now, maybe that's just specific for my program, I have a lot more liberties and I can choose, um, yeah. Well, I have the freedom to choose the classes I want. I don't feel like I, I will not graduate, you know what I mean? So that's um, a bit of a relief um, right now. But obviously, the knowledge you need to have to take part in a course, uh, in a, to discuss theoretical concepts and stuff like that in a seminar or something, are higher. So you, obviously, they think you should know the basics and stuff like that but the tr transition was not difficult maybe it's also because I'm studying um, so I study at the University of Bern in Switzerland and I also did my undergrad there so I think the transition was quite easy for me that was something that was uh, asked what else I wanted to tell you about my my um, exam season last January because that was 
I would say funny, because they were just not funny. Um, there's just one story, and uh, I just want to share it with you, because I think it just says a lot of, about my personality. I call the story how I almost died during Veganuary. And so Veganuary, if you don't know, is it's a campaign to promote veganism during January, because a lot of people will have New Year's resolutions and stuff like that, and some people might think like, oh, I'm gonna go vegan next year, or I wanna eat more plant-based or whatever. And so a lot of like organizations and companies wanted to encourage that, and that's how Veganuary was born. And so during Veganuary, um, there are a lot of vegan options, and I, they just like to promote it and stuff like that. And this story happened uh, one day before one of my exams. On that day of the exam, I also had to hand an essay in the evening, so there are like two, two things going on. And the day before, I uh, went to work, and uh, sometimes before work, I go to this grocery store and get breakfast. So they have some baked goods there as well and I usually get this chocolate bread uh, pastry basically uh, pain au chocolat. I don't know if there's like an English word to describe it like pastry of chocolate, <laughs> of chocolate filling and uh, yeah it's bit, it's has been in the market for quite some time. I know it's vegan. They already put it in like a little, it's not a, a bag, it's just something around the, this pastry. And anyway, so in, or it has a vegan logo on it. So uh, it's obvious that it's vegan. However, during Veganuary, I guess this store thought it would be a good idea to put like little flags in these pastries you know when they there's like a toothpick with a little flag on it for whatever like some people use it for birthdays or like events and you put that in 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 the food and they had those uh, with like a flag that said vegan don't ask me why so they put that in those little pastries and um which is not you know concerning whatsoever but just wait, <laughs> because it will become important um, in a second. So I buy this, I eat it on the on the train, so I, I commute to uh, work and to university. It's not that far away, like work's not that far away from me. And so I'm quite busy texting people back, because I don't really have that much time to text people, so I text them back when I uh, have time, and I eat um, the pastry at the same time. So I thought that I had removed um, the whole toothpick with the flag on it and so, you know like I removed it started eating the pastry and then like as I'm texting someone I want to you know swallow the pastry um, or the bite I just took whatever and um, that's when I notice that something's not right. Like, mm, something's not feeling right. So I look in the bag and I see, and I look at this toothpick and I see that it's broken. Um, yeah, and that's when I realized that when I thought I had pulled it out, I only pulled out half of it and half of it was still stuck in the pastry. Um, and that I had swallowed that. So I had swallowed half a, of a toothpick. Um, so immediately I'm like, no, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. This cannot be happening right now. I have an exam the next day. Um, so yeah, immediately I'm thinking I need to take some medication to throw up or um, like there's going to be some sort of drama that will keep me from taking the exam the next day and handing in the essay I had to hand in. So um, realistically I knew my life was not in danger. Like, I was not worried about my life. I was worried about the exam I had to take the next day. And like just from Google, re Google research I saw that like usually you're fine, like you can swallow a toothpick, you'll, you'll be fine, but there's still a chance that um, it might hurt you, it might hurt some organs on the... I don't know, it, I'm not a doctor. Um, so 
yeah, I was like, okay, I just don't have time. I just, I don't have time for this. I um, also had a meeting at work, so I was like, no, absolutely not. I called, um, like they have this emergency prax practice uh, right at the train station where um, in the town where I'm doing my internship. Yeah, so I called them, I explained the situation and she's like, um, yeah, you have to go to the ER. <laughs> like, no. Um, so, yeah, so I was like, no, okay, whatever. Let me just go to work, I have the meeting, and then I'll just go to the ER, you know, whatever. And I get to work, like, a co-worker asks me, oh, how are you? You know, like, normal, like you normally would. And so I broke down, started crying, <laughs> explained the situation, I was like, I don't have time for this and stuff like that, so I'm a complete mess. And then, um, like, the other co-worker gets in as well that I have a meeting with, and so I explained the situation and he's like, yeah, no, you're not, we're not going to have a meeting right now, you need to go to the hospital. Um, you swallow a toothpick, you know, like, what are you doing here? You just need to go get this checked out. And I'm, I'm trying to, like, um, explain it, like, oh, no, it was just half a toothpick. It was not even, a, you know, it's not that bad. It's like, what are you talking about? Just, yeah, just do that. So he just drove me to the hospital, which was not that far away, but, yeah, very nice of him. And I, it was actually quite fast. So I did not have to wait that long like I literally just waited a couple of minutes someone got me it was unusual um because usually I uh, for for an appointment like that I usually would have to wait longer so I don't know what was going on but um great yeah they did not do that much and it was just like does anything hurt and I was like no and um yeah just checked if I could breathe normally and stuff like that and then um the doctor just told me, uh, yeah, like, there's nothing we can do for you. If you feel pain, uh, yeah, then you need to come back. I was like, okay, great, thanks. <laughs> uh, so, uh, in my mind, I was like, okay, whatever. Uh, but still a tiny bit worried that I might um, develop some complications from swallowing half a toothpick. So, yeah, never mind. That was such a random story. And I was... As you can imagine, um, <laughs> then I took the exam. That was my second exam, by the way. Like my first exam went quite well, um, and then like there was there was like a week after that, and I had this exam. I failed that exam actually. Um, maybe I should talk about what the exams were. I'm sorry, this video has no structure whatsoever. I'm a master student. I study political science, but uh, with, in my uni, with my program, I also get to take a minor and I am um, doing a minor in criminal law. The first exam I had was for a lecture called Criminalistics. Uh, it was my favorite lecture last semester. Every week another person from the police uh, department came in and talked about their um, office, about uh, what they do. For example, like someone is responsible for, the, for environmental crimes and crimes against animals. Um, and stuff like that. So you you heard about a lot of different fields within the police and how also they they go about um, solving crimes, stuff like that. So um, that was super interesting. And I had the exam and I did really well. <laughs> I'm really proud of myself. Um, but it's also, yeah, it just it was such a fun class. So um, yeah, I took that. Then I, like I said, failed one exam. That was um, the day after the two pick incident and uh, yeah that was a European and international criminal law and I mean I failed it I just it did not take that I, if I had I guess studied a tiny bit more I would have passed so it was not like a complete failure but yeah not enough to pass and I will retake this um, this summer then I had to submit an essay for my policy analysis class we had to apply different methods of policy analysis to um, a case and yeah write it out and then there was another exercise during the semester which counted 30% um, of the final exam and this essay counted 70% so um, yeah that was that 
And then I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm missing something. The other exam I took that on um, victimology, uh, also for my minor, and I passed that one. But I'm not happy with the grade, but whatever, I passed it. Uh, but I also enjoyed that class, so that was my exam season. Um, yeah, happy that. <laughs> I survived the toothpick incident. I don't know what to tell you guys. Like, it was so bizarre and I was just, I don't know what to say. And I was also joking around constantly, uh, like, at the office because I just want to, I just had to make fun of myself because it's so ridiculous. Like, why am I like this? Um, yeah. Anyways, there's not a lot to say. Uh, still, um, working, still going to grad school. Um, I'm also heavily involved in um, a university society called Model United Nations, uh, where we simulate UN committees. And uh, yeah, other than that, like I'm living my life. So um, you know, you know how it is. And I promise that I will be more active from now on, from now on. Uh, so if you have any video ideas just let me know um, in the comments down below. Also I'm super excited uh, because next semester so starting in like the end of August I will be studying abroad and I will make a whole video series about that and um, yeah I will not reveal too much um, because I will make a video soon about where I'm going and how I chose that specific university and maybe what to look out. Um, I don't just like my first impressions as well and like the process of applying just um, yeah and stuff like that. Other than that I will just take you with me on this grad school journey and I hope that uh, this is a good comeback. I know the lighting is not that great but yeah I just wanted to explain uh, what was going on thank you so much for watching um, if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and yeah see you in my next video bye